For the first time in years, climatologists say changing global conditions will impact our spring and summer patterns in the southeast. News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith explains how the change won't be immediate. Last month, NOAA addressed the change in our global pattern, La Nina, which was likely to come to an end in the next two months. That has since changed, and it looks like we're more confident about what is going to be happening in the near future. Our ocean temperatures are already beginning to change from what was cooler water off the South American coast to now warmer conditions, as you can see by those oranges and yellows. The only reason why we're still officially in a La Nina pattern is the residual cooler water out in portions of the Central Pacific that will be there just for now. Things are changing pretty quickly over the next couple of months, and that can be seen in the latest forecast from NOAA. They're expecting us to transition towards a neutral phase, so in between La Nina and El Nino before we start to see an El Nino very likely develop as you go a little bit later on into this year. Let's talk about the spring though, because this is the first spring that we should be in a neutral pattern in about four years. So what can we expect? Typically in the spring months, we see a very variable weather pattern. As you can see, a lot of warmer and cooler air moving throughout the country. But with that being said, long-term models are starting to trend towards a more warmer solution over the next couple of months. As you head towards the summer, that's where we could see El Nino develop. And there's a couple things that come with that. One is lower tropical activity. We've seen a lot of hurricanes over the last couple of years, but also cooler and wetter summers and even winters here in the southeast. One thing that most of the meteorological community is looking at right now is that we could be seeing some globally hot temperatures with this pattern starting to develop. 2024 could challenge 2016 for the hottest year ever. And if it's not that soon, it could be within the next few years. Of course, that'll become a little bit more clear as you get closer. From the studio, I'm News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith. According to NOAA, three of the top four hottest years globally on record were El Nino years with all of them occurring in the past 10 years. Wow. So if you've been so, thinking the last decade's been hot. It's felt hot. Yeah, you're, you're right. right. Yeah, and it today, has been hot. In our news meeting, Corey said that this is going to be the hottest year since 2016. So if y'all remember being really hot in 2016, 2023 is going to be like that.